Greetings everybody, Gospel Domino here, welcome to a brand new video, and today I am joined with my friend Austin. Yo, what up humans, and what up Domino, how's it going man? Considering the fact that North Korea is threatening to nuke us every day, I'm doing okay. Good. Good. So the other day I was just looking around for material for this collaboration video. You know, I was just browsing around YouTube trying to find something weird and wacky, and it was taking quite a while. Like, I was finding things that were sort of wacky, but not really cringy or anything. So I was about to give up, but then the wind whispered through the pines. The wind whispered through the forest. I looked up. What could it mean? And I heard a whisper on the wind. The wind whispered through the forest. Watch this video. And this video came to me on the wind, and I watched it, and I knew right away that it was magical. And this is something that I felt like you people just needed to see. Domino and I are going to react to this, and it's going to be tough, but we're going to make it through. So let's get right into this. The wind whispered through the forest. Already about two seconds in, and we can already tell that this is going to be a terrible video. This voiceover sounds like a B-Tech voiceover from, like, a kid's action movie. You know, it, it sounds like the announcer from the Super Buddies movie. You know, that Air Buddies movie that they did where they all became superheroes. A new breed of superhero is about to be unleashed. That's exactly what this sounds like to me. You know, they couldn't get a real deep voice, so they had to settle for this B-Tech guy. A storm is coming. You cannot defeat the storm. From the trees rose a resounding voice. I fear nothing. I come when the trumpet sounds. I take it back. His voice is actually pretty deep. Just the microphone that he was recording on wasn't that good. Anyway, you'll notice that a bear appeared and said, I come when the trumpet sounds. Now you haven't seen this video, so you don't know why it's significant that a bear would say, when the trumpet sounds. But trust us, you're about to find out. I am the Storm, the great American Grizzly. Introducing the original Trumpy Bear. Ah! What is that? What is, what is that? WHAT IS THAT THING?! I think it's weird that we're associating Trump with a bear. Like, considering it's America, you think we'd do something like, Oh, here's a Trumpy eagle. It's an eagle with a very bad haircut. But uh, no, we're doing a Trumpy bear. And it's something that you can cuddle with when you try to go to sleep at night, uh, other than Jacob Sartorius' sweatshirt. And uh, I genuinely think this might be a really good product. Boys, this is what we're dealing with this time. This is an actual thing. A Donald Trump stuffed bear is actually a real thing. They are actually really offering this. It even has a website. So there's no denying it's real now. Certificate of Authenticity confirms you own an original Trumpy bear. Oh yeah, because I'm sure people are going to want to rip this off. This thing comes with that really long red tie that Trump likes to wear and just you wait till you see what else. The Fearless super plush American Grizzly. Now, of course, some people might say that his fur needs to be more orange, but then they couldn't call him a grizzly because a grizzly bear is a brown bear. Trumpy Bear was born June 14th, Flag Day. Just find the secret zipper and pull out the flag blank. Wait, what? What just happened? That was my thought when I first saw this. I mean, seriously, this is like Tommy Stuffers. Tommy Stuffers? for adults. Then wrap yourself in the red, white, and blue for comfort and warmth. First of all, that flag looks about as thin as a sheet. Second of all, if I really need to say anything about this, something's wrong with you, man. I do actually think that's kind of a, uh, a cool idea, but, uh, isn't that a little, uh, offensive? Offensive as in, I know it's not actually the American flag, but it's like, it's kind of, it's kind of close to an American flag. I think it's just weird to keep a flag inside of a bear's back. I feel like it's supposed to mean something. I mean, I respect the flag, sure. But this whole, just the, uh, let's just play the video, man. Show your patriotism and proudly display Trumpy on Flag Day. Am I the only one who thinks he looks like he's handcuffed here? Oh, and by the way, I'm going to say nothing about the fact that he's, you know, hanging. And on any American holiday, Trumpy can even honor your own family heroes. He's even good for Hanukkah. Even honor your own family heroes. Magnificent. You know, I had a grandpa who served in World War II. He died in 2000, though, so I think I could buy this stuffed bear that's put in the likeness of our president and put him on a shrine to my grandpa. And I'm sure that my grandpa up in heaven will instantly feel a thousand times more honored. God bless America and God bless Trumpy Bear. Just the bear? You don't want him to bless the actual president? Just the bear? Boys, I think someone's a customer for life. This commercial is so messed up, man, but wait till you see what comes next. Trumpy Bear sits proudly at the front of the motorcycle for all the world to see and loves to cruise with his brother. His 
brother? I'm serious. This commercial gets better by the second. How many commercials do you know that get better by the second? See, personally, if I had a real Trumpy bear, I'd probably duct tape him up against my bicycle and I'd bike to school with it and probably get jumped because my school has a lot of, how do I say this? It's very mutually raced. Yeah, I feel like I'd get in trouble for that, but I mean, it'd be cool. You've got this guy putting Trumpy bear on the front of his motorcycle and actually enjoying it. Not as a joke or anything. He actually enjoys it. See, watch, look, he's gonna do an interview here, and he's gonna say that he actually enjoys it. Just watch this. I'm a former Marine, and I'm proud to have Trumpy Bear ride by my side. Um, you could have worded that a little bit differently. I mean, he's not technically riding by your side. He's actually riding in front of you, but you know, whatever. Once a Marine, always a Marine. And hey, guys, we're not trying to make fun of Marines or anything like that. It's a tough life being a Marine. You have to go and fight some pretty tough battles, and then when you get back, it's another battle with PTSD sometimes. So yeah, Semper Fi and all that, and let's get back to the video. Everyone knows Trumpy Bear loves to go to the golf course. Ah, there it is. The dig about Trump's golfing. You could have seen it coming. Everyone knows. When I ride with Trumpy Bear, he makes my golf game great again. Thank you, Trumpy Bear. Yeah, and then you guys could call up some hookers afterwards and smoke cocaine off of them. He makes my golf game great again. Thank you, Trumpy Bear. You cannot be seriously serious. It's like I said before, this is like a commercial for kids. They're using the same marketing techniques that you might expect for a tummy stuffer. Or like a Tickle Me Elmo. Except it's for adults. By the way, does this guy look like Paul Ryan or what? Simply style his trademark hair and place him in his favorite chair. They're even making rhymes. If this voice was replaced with a whimsical female voice, you would think this is a kid's commercial. But if you look around, all you see are adults. I mean, there's not even any kids in this commercial. How many stuffed animals do you know that are marketed only for adults? And if you do happen to know of any stuffed animals marketed specifically for adults, what's the matter with you? Even the toughest guys will love Trumpy Bear. Even the toughest guys will love Trumpy Bear. Okay, I just had to say it for myself. When America is great, business is great. When business is great, I am great. I love you, Trumpy Bear. I am an army veteran. I am proud to own the Trumpy Bear. Actually, I used to have that hat, but uh, now I don't. And a lot of that is because America is not going great. It's um, it's it's going pretty poorly. So I just I I don't approve of this message. Uh, normally I like to say I'm Cosmic Domino and I approve this message, but I I just I don't approve this message. I am proud to own the Trumpy Bear, and I will always be proud to be an American. You know, just in case you're wondering if you're proud to be an American and you want to be proud to be an American, just purchase this Trumpy Bear and all of a sudden you will feel 100% sure that you are proud to be an American. Don't miss out on owning a piece of American history. Order now for only two payments of $19.95. Two payments of $19.95. Two so for $40 you get a bear with an awful haircut, a certificate that says you own a bear with an awful haircut, and an American flag blanket that comes with your bear with an awful haircut. I think that's a pretty good deal. It's kind of funny that the logic of this commercial is this stuffed bear that's stylized in the image of the president is a piece of American history. I mean, technically it is because, I mean, if it was made on American soil, technically that is part of American history. But what they're inferring is it's a piece of Trump's legacy. Anyway, we're not going to go into detail about that. Now, if you manage to make it to the end of this video, I bet you're wondering, why not do something like this for Hillary? Well, I searched for Hillary Clinton stuffed animal. This was about as close as I could get. Bill and I were dead broke after leaving the White House. I was named after the famous Mount Everest climber Sir Edmund Hillary. I had absolutely- Boys, that just might be more creepy than Trumpy Bear. Well, to sum it all up, let me just say that I really think this commercial is a giant troll. You'll notice that everyone in the commercial was like a stereotype of the people that voted for Trump. The white and the wealthy. Money, 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 money. Money, 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 money. Plus the whole golf course thing really gave me the tip. It was about then that I figured this has got to be a troll. But you know, it was quite convincing. I think I'm gonna buy one myself. You think I was kidding about that shrine to my grandpa? Look, man, I'm gonna buy that. I'm gonna buy it right now. Check it out. I got the I got the weapon. I had to give this product a 8 out of 8. It looked pretty solid. I personally would love to own a Trumpy Bear. So, uh, yeah, hopefully one of these days that could come true. Uh, if you're looking for a review tester, I'm here. I'm Cosmic Domino, and I'll be... I would love to give you a positive review, Mr. Whoever 
owns this bear. But yeah, guys, thanks for coming and hanging out with us and watching this video with us. I don't think we could have made it through if it wasn't for you. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to indicate that by leaving a like. Subscribe to me if you want. Hey, Domino, why don't you sign us off? Anyways, that was it for this video. I'm Cosmic Domino. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, man, thanks for having me. Let's do it again sometime.